This video reviews an important skill called completing the square and looks at four different style questions concisely. Okay, so the first one reviews the main skill of how to write an expression in the form x plus some number squared take away another number. Now there's one golden rule here, and it's an absolute golden rule. Now to get the a in the bracket, we always have the coefficient. Now 8 divided by 2 equals 4. So this becomes x plus 4 squared. Now x plus 4 squared, when you expand it, you get x squared plus 8x, but you get a plus 16 because 4 squared equals 16. But I need a 5 in the answer, not a 16. So to make this correct, I've got to get 16 back down to 5. Now to achieve this, I've got to take away a number, which is take away 11. Because 16 take away 11 is 5. So the answer is x plus 4 squared take away 11. And that is called completing the square. So again, golden rules, have the 8 to get 4, 4 squared is 16, I want a 5, not a 16, so I've got to take away 11 to make it correct. Okay, so, the second one is very similar, but it's a negative 10 here. Now, this obeys the same rule, if you like. So, to get the A, we always halve that, but a half of negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5. So rather than a plus 4 or a plus 5, there's going to be a negative 5 in the bracket. So this will be x minus 5 squared. However, negative 5 squared, be really careful here, if you square negative 5, it becomes positive 25. But I want a 21. So to get 25 down to 21, I've got to take away 4. Because 25 take away 4 is 21. So when we complete the square, we get x minus 5 squared take away 4. So that reviews the main skill concisely. There are two main applications of this, uh, lots of applications. And this will then show you two applications in the second half of the video. And again, please do like and subscribe if you find this video useful or ask questions below in the chat area. Okay, so this skill lets me sketch graphs and here's how it works. Okay, so here's an expression. I'm going to complete the square. So a half of 6 is 3. So this becomes x plus 3 squared. However, 3 squared is 9 and I want a 12. So in this example, rather than take away a number, 3 squared is 9. To get from 9 to 12, I've got to add 3. So again, just to confirm why, 3 squared is 9. I want a 12. I've got to add a 3 to make it correct. So this is being written in the form x plus 3 squared plus 3. Now, this lets me sketch the x squared graph really, really easily. Because I can now find what's called the coordinate of the vertex. Now, to get the vertex, which I'll show you what it is in a moment, I do a very, very simple thing. There are two numbers here, which can be the same or they can be different. But to get the vertex coordinate, I always change the sign of the number in the bracket. So plus 3 becomes negative 3. And keep that sign. So that stays as positive 3. So change the first sign to get negative 3, keep the second sign so it stays as positive 3, and that is called the coordinate of the vertex. And here's what that means. So if I were to draw a pair of axes, x and y, then I can sketch the coordinate minus 3, 3. That means minus 3, 3. So there's the coordinate minus 3, 3. Now, the vertex is the bottom of the graph. Now, an x-squared graph is always a smiley face. Well, it's a positive x-squared. So I draw an x-squared smiley face where the vertex or bottom of the graph is that coordinate. 
And all I do is I just do this. I draw a smiley face, which passes through that coordinate, and then goes back up again. And there is the x squared parabola, which passes through the coordinate, minus 3, 3, that's the vertex. And as one extra point, that plus number in the equation is always the y-intercept, so I can therefore write a 12 here as well. So there's the vertex, there's the y-intercept, an x squared graph is always this sort of smiley face, u-shape, or parabola. And that golden rule always works. Change the first sign in the bracket and keep the second sign. OK, so, last one, and again, please don't forget to like and subscribe or ask questions below, is if I'm given the graph, I can actually get back to the equation. I can work in reverse. Now, working in reverse is a very important mathematical skill. So here's what we do. There's the vertex, which is... 3, 5. I can go back to the equation. So it's of the form x something squared. Now here's what I do. Okay, so I always change the sign of the first number. So there's a plus 3 here, so it becomes a negative 3 in the bracket. So the first number sign always changes, but the second number stays the same. So the equation is y equals x minus 3 squared plus 5. I can then expand that out. So I can expand this. Now to expand this, and if you look at expansion then please look at the video on expanding, I get the following. x squared minus 6x plus 9 and there's a plus 5 there. So that could be simplified to get x squared minus 6x plus 14. And again, that works because the number here, the 14, is the y-intercept. And again, for the expansion bit, please see my other videos on expanding double brackets. So this graph here has got an equation y equals x squared minus 6x plus 14.